Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning. And it is a Sunday morning. Yes, I was talking with Juliet, and I realized, oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm a video. I'm not used to making a video on Sundays. <laughs> Just like I wasn't used to making a live on Saturday. Anyways, my name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake. And I love to welcome you all to my channel. Yes, I do. Okay, so today is Sunday, the 20th of October, 2024. Yes, indeed. And I am continuing to work here on... I don't know if you can see. Is it is it starting to come out at all? Is it starting that you can maybe see it a little bit? This this here is the lamp that she's holding. So this is the light around the you know the glow. So <clears throat> it'll be more clear as time goes on. Yes, indeed. Now, where am I? Where am I? So this is 20. Okay. So then am I here? <clears throat> Twenty and forty, fifty. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm there. I'm trying to figure this out. I had it figured out, but then, yeah, it didn't go like I had planned. Well, today it's supposed to be a nice day. And as you can tell, my migraine is back down to one, maybe a two. And that's why I'm feeling so much better. Praise be to God. Yep. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. And this morning, um, well, it's at noon. Um, how on earth did that go like that? Okay. That's oh, that's why. That's why. Okay. So, anyway, um, what did I do yesterday? Well, I did wash the dishes. I did bring the laundry in. Yeah, I did do that. My poor um, clothes rack fell down because of the wind yesterday. Um, but it wasn't tied up, so that's why it fell. Um, this morning, I, I actually, I woke up. Can't remember. I think it was about quarter after six. Yeah, this eye is still, I still got it. I always got it there, so. But it's like a um, ice pick or a screwdriver in my eye. So. But I am feeling better. 
in the sense that I am not, it's not intense, at least right now. So if you joined me on yesterday's live, thank you so very much. I really loved it. I really, really loved it. Because there were some strange <laughs> strangers on there <laughs> that normally are not on there on Sundays. And so it was nice to see you. And thank you very much for the questions yesterday and comments and all of that. It was really nice. Um, I did get a comment uh, for my video yesterday, my live. And it was, how do I know if a pattern is PK compatible? Well, um, you have to kind of check. So just a minute here. Some will have it. I'm, I'm just going to look. Okay, so if I go on here, um, I, I'm just picking up one. And you, if you go down here to... Um, Um, if you go down here into this description section, they might have listed um, yes, see here it says compatible with pattern keeper for phone and tablet. Okay, so you can look there. And that will tell you. Not all of them will say that. Okay. Some will. It'll just be a hit and miss. And I know I've I've gotten a few patterns. And they are not PK compatible. So I let the um, designer know. Or the Etsy dealer or whatever. Please, if you can, please make it PK compatible. So, but I know the ones that are not PK compatible, I have good notes. So, I, I will just put it into good notes and it'll go in there. So, but that was a good question. Absolutely it was. So thank you for asking that question. But yeah, because I've been looking for that now. And it will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of, of uh, grief. And that, so... Always, always check in the description box. There's a couple of things you check on. The size of the pattern. Because indeed, I bought several patterns. And I got them. And they were absolutely humongous. Yes. But... So it, um, it's all about on what you want, right? So. But good question. I like those kind of questions. I do. So, um. But today is nice blue sky with some clouds. So, so we have mass at noon until 1, which will be nice. It's a shame that Father Paul only comes 
one Sunday a month. Like other churches have it more often. But it's just it's just sad here that we don't. Yeah. So Yeah. Oh, I am now at I got over the 6% mark yesterday. Yesterday I put in 359 stitches and I reached uh, what was it? 6.16. I put in 21 stitches now and I'm at 6.18%. So, it's so, oh, no, oh, that one. Um, I want to do this one. Where, ah, I keep trying to do one thing and it's, um, I touched the wrong one. Okay, well, I guess that's it on that for now. Okay, so I want this one, and that's 791. So, like I said, Juliet brought all my um, threads over, so it was really, oh, it's been a godsend, I tell you. Um, the only thing is they're all on those, um, these bobbins. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, oh, just a minute. Okay, so now I know that this one is 791, I believe, is a purple. What's that? 208. I know I need that one. Um, seven. What did I say? 791. I think it's a blue. I think it's a blue, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Nope. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let me go for that one. Seven, nine, six. Wait a minute. Maybe I've got it here and I'm looking in the wrong spot. So let's see here. Seven, nine, one. And just like I thought. Okay, so I'm going to go for that one. And do this one. It is a kind of a royal purple color. So I am watching Stuart in stitches. He's he's really oh my gosh, he does beautiful work. Beautiful work, people. 
Go and check him out. He does awesome work. Awesome work. It's a mess. It's a mess. I will be so happy to get back there all done. I have been kind of slowly tidying things up a little bit. A little bit. But yesterday it, it it warmed up rather nicely. The skies cleared out. It was turned out to be a beautiful, excuse me, beautiful day. So So I made uh, yesterday a baked potato, but I left it in a little bit too long. A little bit too long. Just a little bit. Okay, so there. Now, uh, that's 50 and 20. Okay, so there's 20. And that's at the top of 20. And over to 50, okay, over here. Okay, now that one. That's 20. Is it right up here? No. Is that 50? No, that would be over here. Is that? Nope. That's not it. This is, okay, so the top of 20. Now, okay, so the top of 20 and over, so three, four, that's 50. Is that it here? That doesn't seem quite right. Is that one and that one? No, I got to start somewhere else. I have to start somewhere else so I can get a bearing. Okay, so that one. No, it's not there. Oh, sometimes it's hard to find your way. Is that it? That might be it. Is that it? I think I found it. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I know. Oh my gosh. Well, I buggered that up. Never mind. Toss it. Toss it, toss it, toss it. It's not worth scrambling about. I don't think I have enough of this color. <laughs> no, I don't have enough of this color. So I'll have to look for it. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, there. So I was kind of doing a few hints there about what is coming up in December. But you're going to have to wait. I know it's hard. Patience is a virtue, as they say. Just relax. It'll be something that I believe everybody can do. Doesn't matter what religion, what um, ethnic brand, background, whatever um, subject matter that you like, you can you can make it fit. And if you look at something and say, gee, I don't know if this fits, 
expand your mind. <laughs> Just saying, for instance, that um, you like pale blue, okay? And the design... Um, is, I don't know, summer and, and the sky. I'm, I'm just drawing it for instance. Okay. So say it is that the theme is, um, Halloween. Uh, I don't know. Easter. Um, I don't know, whatever day, Remembrance Day, okay? Whatever, a birthday, whatever it is. And you look at the design and you go, but yeah, it doesn't fit in with what the challenge is. Well, you look at it and you go, yeah, but you know what? I can tie this color in and that makes it for what whatever so so say you have uh, uh something as a birthday and the theme is um uh birds <laughs> don't know. then you look at the at the blue sky in the summer picture or in the birthday picture and you go well there are bluebirds <laughs> <laughs> so you can draw a correlation. You get it? I know. <laughs> now I got to find my spot again. I don't even know where I was. Okay, so this is... Okay. But you can, you can, you can bring it together. You just got to explain. Expand your mind a little bit. Or um, say it's it's birthday colors or, or birthday. And uh, you're doing it for someone else. And you're saying, well, yeah, but it doesn't fit the, the, with the challenges. Draw a color in. Draw, you know, do whatever. Oh, there's a balloon in there. <laughs> You know, something, or there's a little birdie in there, or there's a bear in there, or something. You know, you can, you can, you can tie it in. Alrighty, let me find my way again. Oh my goodness. Okay, right here, and I am nauseous again. Right here, I am. Right here, I am. So I wonder how many people we are going to have at Mass today. It's been really poor. It's been really, really, really poor lately. I am just so... I'm, I, I'm really sad that, you know... Like, people always say, well, I'm busy on Sunday. You're busy all Sunday that you cannot go to church? To take an hour, one day a week, and go to church? You know, like it's, oh, but I'm too tired. Well, you're not tired enough that you stay in bed all day and you um um say do you go to your son's football game you're not tired enough to miss that you know whether it's church synagogue mosque whatever it is right I'm just saying. I am just saying. You know, if you go to temple, if you go to, um, 
you know, what it, whatever it is. I know they have uh, temples there for Shintoism and uh, Hinduism and um, all of that. I think they're temples. I think they're temples. So, and then I was also watching Siska Stitches this morning, but I uh, had to stop and say my prayers and then I never went back. So I have Stuart and Stitches on here now. But he does beautiful work. Oh my gosh. He's working on a Teresa Wensler. It's in the garden or something. And if anybody's done a TW design, you know how complicated. That was my most complicated. I did um, the castle and the dragon. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I call it. And I did it. This is long before I got into linen. I did it on eight o'clock. And if you understand Teresa Wensler, you know there's a lot of half, three-quarter, quarter stitches. Like there's, it's, it's unbelievable. And blends. Oh my gosh, she's the queen of blends. It's, um... Yeah, I only did one. I never even did any of the free ones. I just did the one. And um, let me tell you, they're not easy. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. But no. Yesterday, somebody had... Uh, wrote that they're going to be starting um, a uh, Amy Stewart design. Or maybe there's a couple of them. I don't know. And um, I keep forgetting that. Um, So, um, that's good. They're going to be starting it for November's challenge, which is book it. See, that's the other thing. It's like, I'm doing this here. And this is, it's got books in there, right? But I can always do this one. Okay, I'm, I'm just drawing a correlation. Because this is a woman who lived in the Bible. And the Bible is a book. Okay. Now, when I get to 900, when I get to 900 subscribers, I'm going to be giving this one away. Yes, I started stitching on it. It is huge. Look at the size. 88 by 104 centimeters. Okay, it is full coverage. It is huge. I'm never going to stitch it. I had so wanted to do it for the church here. But when you do get it, you will have part of me in there. Because I stitched a bunch of stitches. I don't know how many. 500 or so. Maybe a bit more. So then you will actually have me <laughs> in your stitching. So wherever it's hung, I am there. <laughs> that sounds weird, huh? It's like what Jesus says, wherever you go, there I am, right? Yeah, so... Um, 
I was working with my arm there. Uh, the other arm there to hold my cross stitch. But I found it way too uncomfortable. I, I can't get it so that it sits right. I have to find where it is that I am. Um, okay, right there. So right now, I'm just leaning my um, hoop here up against my table. And that seems to be working okay. You can, you know. And I have ordered this. Okay, so just a second. I have ordered this. And it will be coming in the mail next week sometime. Oh my gosh. Early de deals in our holiday shop for Amazon. Okay, so my orders. Okay, so this is this is what I ordered. And it comes as a complete set. Um, oh, just a minute here. I want to make sure I got a big picture of it I ordered that so it comes with these two plus it comes with this frame okay and you can shorten it up to do a smaller so and this was $52.63 Canadian okay so that is coming in the mail. And I'm going to try that and see if that makes any bit of difference. Because it will be attached here. And I can, hopefully I can have it down here and I can do it. So anyway, <laughs> please remember that next Sunday, we return uh, to our Sunday live Okay, so I hope to see all of you there. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Ruthie. There was a bit of a hissy fit this morning with her. But she sits there underneath something, and Jonah walks by, and she just kind of, like, like that. But she doesn't move. And uh, so then she does, she does that. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Jonah. And so does Ruthie, who went down the hallway. My very dirty, dirty, dirty hallway. I can't wait to get this done. I'm so sick and tired of it. I need to get these floors vacuumed and washed. I've got to do it. I've got to do I got to get it done. I can't stand this anymore. I can't stand this anymore. It's driving me bananas. The floor is so dirty. It's gritty. It's it's sticky. It's all that kind of stuff. And I can't do anything because uh, even though I take my shoes off in the back there, I'm still, even with my slippers on, there's dirt back there and it tracks through the house. Once they get the deck up, it's going to be a little bit better. A little bit better. So, thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a really great Sunday. We will see you to, on tomorrow's video. Please leave a comment. Make sure that you give a thumbs up, like my video, um, subscribe if you haven't. Check to make sure you are subscribed. 
and we will see you tomorrow. Toodle-littles, everybody!